Welcome to another edition of the N Word for Nerd podcast. And this time, Jern did not have to go and pee. If you <laughs> never mind, we'll talk about that later. But if you remember, we don't you know like <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> remember to like, share, and subscribe. We'll put it in the same bucket with our Batman conversation for next week. But if you like, share, and subscribe, <laughs> we're here at Cannon Circus on all social platforms Facebook, YouTube, Anchor FM, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts. Uh, Apple something pie. something podcast. This <laughs> yes, Apple Pie. We're probably on Netflix. We're probably we're everywhere you want to be um, at. But here, Cannon Circus. Well, let's finish this episode off with comments. We kept promising you guys we we're going to read your comments, but now we're going to read it for you. We're finally here. Oh, actually, we just got a comment that came in twenty minutes ago. So we'll we'll. Uh, oh, fuck yeah! All right, twenty yeah. minutes. Fresh out the princess. Ah. All right. So the first comment is from Sign Up Stuff, and this is about Arcane. It it's goes one of the account. decisions. <laughs> One of the decisions they made that paid off was not carrying over the airbrush boob window short skirt Barbie doll character models from the game into the series. It helped broaden Arcane's appeal. Also, Jinx over Harley Quinn because Arcane doesn't treat Jinx as a hot, crazy chick. You generally feel sad for her mental illness and tragic circumstances. That's a hell of a comment, man. I ain't gonna Damn, lie. for a burner oh, yeah. account, that's really bad. good. <laughs> for really insightful. Account. Sign up. I do, I do like. Whatever. I do like that in the game they have you know you you have a tiny little character that's a few pixels high and you got to kind of like accentuate stuff to make it readable on the screen. And in this mm-hmm. one, they really kind of delved into. You still had the police officer women wearing skirts, which, tight skirts. Which, but they did at least go down like around the they knees or just above the knees. So, you know, right. it wasn't, they weren't mini skirts. So I agree with that. Uh, so, yeah, no, I like that they they kind of adapted the world. They kept the style, but they adapted it to make it They're a like, little oh, less shoot. overt. This is so Absolutely. good that maybe not only 15-year-old boys will be looking at this. So we should probably like turn this down a little bit. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> Okay, good good comment by sign up uh sign up stuff. Yeah. The next comment is about Arcane as well from Caleb Sun Sundance. Oh, I, like I know that Caleb. name. Oh, okay. Yeah. Old, old he's one of Caleb. your homeboys? One of your boys? Yeah, he's you, one of my homeboys. Yeah. Yeah. Small right. hands. He's the one that, that shared the video. <laughs> Small hands. <laughs> Oh, he shared our video. We got to be nice, Jared. Be nice. Apologize, Jared. He shared our video. Apologize. I'm making a, I'm making a friend. <laughs> it was off the door. The uh, Caleb says, one of my favorite things about the show that I don't think gets mentioned enough, because there's so many things to mention, correct, are the transition shots they do from one scene to another. Most shows and movies, you get like one, at most two, really solid transitions, and then they make you go, damn, that was cool but they fit like three or four of them into a single episode and it was never not awesome. I would love to see the storyboarding for this show because it must've been wild with how meticulous they would have needed, we needed to be great comment. We're going to, we're going to the storyboards, man. We don't even talk about story. Yeah. I remember my first storyboard (laughs) class. This is going to be just an antidote. Uh, Mm -hmm. First time we had an assignment, Mr. Elio. I don't know if you had Elio. I had Elio. He (laughs) He took the put, we put him on there. First girl, Tear, takes it, rips it up, throws it away. I don't ever want to see this shit in my classic ever again. And I was like, oh shit, wow. I don't want to be a storyboarder. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still friends with me on Facebook. The motherfucker is just like a, a he, all he does is like yoga nowadays and paints. Yeah. yeah. Uh, hopefully um, he's a, a nice, nicer person. <laughs> no, probably not. Uh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> um, yeah, no, in this, in this scenario, uh, obviously transitions are more difficult to do with live action. Uh, when you're filming stuff and then trying to, to, you know, to like match them together and create a seam or whatever, it has to be a lot more thought out in animation. It's a bit easier, but because it's a bit easier, it lets the people behind it, if they want to be more creative with it. And I think they yes. nailed it with this. And I agree with your comment completely. Um, and, uh, and yeah, no, uh, I would also love to walk around. Have you seen behind the scenes stuff, especially like avatar, and and other big scale uh pixar behind the scene animation things they have whole rooms walls walls that are covered in the storyboard and you walk through and you just kind of like follow this story along as you're going across the wall it's i would yeah i would absolutely love as well to have been invited into that room at riot games yeah i I don't want to do the work because i i would be too uh too sensitive like oh no we're taking the shot i worked six hours in that (laughs) 
<laughs> but I definitely want to be in the room going, yes, mm-hmm, indeed, indeed. That one's good, indeed. indeed. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go on to our next one. Uh, th- this movie is the movie that won't die, but we appreciate the comments and we'll keep reading them. Oh, we Halloween have kills, have- <laughs> yep, Halloween kills, yes. <laughs> so, Mike, uh, Arangino, Arangino says, definitely a brutally dumb movie. <laughs> Flashbacks and firefighter scenes, plus the couple, uh, plus the couple scenes. Other than that, take out the hospital and the bar scenes and anything to do with Tommy Doyle. So that he's saying that everything sucked except for the fire, the flashbacks, and the firefighter scenes, basically. Which so I don't think anybody does agree. I mean, the firefighter <laughs> scene was, was pretty cool, but I don't see firefighter. I know a few fighter fires. I don't think I don't think they're going to take you one by one. I think they're going to they're going to rush you. They're all about teamwork. They're not going to be like, they really right, are. Bill, it's your We're turn. Family. You go and fight that dude that just killed two of your buddies. We're going to be back here hung, hanging out. <laughs> you got this. Yeah, it's about family. You're not <laughs> Send the new kid in. Big promoters at each fire. Yeah. Uh, (laughs) It's family, baby. um, Again, another Halloween kills. Daryl Moore. (laughs) All right, he has a long one. So uh, I think the biggest problem is that people convinced themselves that 2018 was a good Halloween movie. (laughs) It's incredibly stupid with plot holes you could drive a truck through. How to get free? Like, how exactly did Sertain pull that miracle off without getting killed in the first place? But with slick visuals and cinematography, Carpenter's score and nostalgia, this works as a generic slasher flick, but not a good Halloween movie. So now you have the middle part of a poorly thought out trilogy where nothing (laughs) climatic can happen because we know that a third movie is coming. Considering how seriously this movie takes itself, these have to be the stupidest written characters in horror. He's like a Navy SEAL fighting intellectually disabled toddlers. I couldn't finish it. Woo! Damn! Man. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't say who wrote that one. Yeah, uh, Daryl Moore. That's his name. Daryl Moore. Daryl Moore. Moore. Do you yeah. need a hug? <laughs> Daryl Moore. Eat it. This movie. Eat it. <laughs> he said it's like a Navy SEAL fighting intellectually disabled toddlers. Not even just the regular toddlers. Yeah, like, yeah. intellectually disabled toddlers at the top toddlers. of their game. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, that no. is awesome. Oh, oh man. Geez. He right okay. though. Like these characters are so yeah, stupid. Like, these... like how y'all live, live this long? Like y'all should have died of like starvation because you forgot to eat or something. Right. Or, or something well, like that. In defense, in defense of the movie, the movie slogan was evil dies tonight. All the evil terrible evil tonight. stuff, they all died in an alley fight. So <laughs> you're right. Yeah. The evil <laughs> did die that night. Had to go down that night. They killed all the residents. So <laughs> killed 40 people. <laughs> I just want, like I really hope the next movie, Halloween End, starts off with the fucking National Guard showing up to help out these motherfuckers. And then like maybe they'd be like, Oh, let's kill the National Guard or something. But I know it's just gonna be the same black cop that serves out yeah. going. I don't know what the fucking doing. <laughs> Hold your horses on what you think about Halloween ends because we got a comment about it and it's classic. But before <laughs> we get there, we got some more. Uh, another Halloween kills. Zeno Zangzist um, says, "That's mouthful." Nailed it. Yeah. What triple X was? <laughs> what the fuck was this movie? Like, what the fuck was going on <laughs> behind the scenes to lead to this? That is all they put. They're like, <laughs> yeah. What the uh, fuck is that? Jamie Lee Curtis need to get paid. She's got like mortgages <laughs> and kids to feed. And right. she was like, oh, I can easily get paid doing a Halloween movie. And I don't have to do any work. Thank you very much. <laughs> Facts. Money, All right. The please. next one, still more Halloween kills, is from GLW607. So I'm assuming Glow607. The sequel to Kills Halloween Ends does not take place on the same night. Because I think we talked about like, what are they going to do? How's the night going to last forever? I guess he's addressing this in our comments when we had that talk. Uh, he you goes, there will be a, <laughs> there'll be a time jump of four years. Also, one of the biggest problems is the introduction of too many characters without the focus on or development of these characters. They seem to be there simply for nostalgia purposes and then to be fed to Michael one by one. I agree. Fair enough. All right. What is Michael Here's doing the in four years? 
Yeah, what is Michael Myers just gonna be hanging out in that house for four years? Staying no, out, out the window. Like, <laughs> out the window. No one's gonna go. Just get a part time at Starbucks. <laughs> it's gonna be Jamie Lee Curtis's daughter's rotten corpse out there, just like and just standing there. And the cops is like, ah, we're not going in there. That's a murder. He, oh, he's he's killed five hundred people in the last two days. No, fuck him. Yeah. They call the National Garden because that'd just be over. They'd surround him and just fucking kill Box's ass, and that'd be Look. over. So. This is why I think this next comment is what I said is going to be great. So <laughs> he commented, this guy commented before on it, and he went on about how terrible Halloween Kills is, but we responded, and then he responded. So it goes, What did we uh, respond? Oh, we responded. With we just, I just gave him, like, we just talked, we read his comment, and we agreed. Well, like, he agreed. He's the one that wrote the whole thing. We was like, oh, yeah, I should yeah, write yeah, a whole yeah. narrative about this because it's so terrible. So anyway, I just, like you know, gave him regular thank you for your comment. Well, anyway, so Kill Dig Horror Movie Archive, that's the guy's name. Or gentleman or young lady's name. Yep. Michael will be 65 years old in the next one. Actually, Halloween ends with Michael and Lori dying of heart attacks at a retired home. Sorry to spoil this, but it happens. LOL. Perfect comment. We may have a comment winner of the week right there. <laughs> Imagine Michael Myers sitting in his wheelchair with his mask. He's sitting there looking at fucking Matlock. And it's stopping <laughs> over. Oh, evil dies tonight, guys. <laughs> right. Oh my god. They get, it's, it's like it's like the old dude from uh from uh breaking bad where he's in the wheelchair with a little bell, but he's got the mic- yeah. <laughs> he's got the mask on. Right, right. <laughs> he's leaning to the oh, side. Yeah, dude. All we gotta do, guys, to defeat Michael Myers is run up some steps because he can't get out of his wheelchair. Oh man, <laughs> he's the a cotton it now. that hasn't evolved to do a spectral being is his hip, and he breaks it. <laughs> Look, I feel like the, the 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 topic or the main thesis of this podcast this week is steps to silent killer because you get wheelchair dude from Ghostbusters, <laughs> <ain't going> <laughs> <to> Michael Myers. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Myers, arthritis and diabetes is acting up. I can't fight no more. Oh. <laughs> to be clear, we're not making fun of people who have mobility issues. No, no, no. We're making fun of steps. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Also, in, in, in guys, fictional, if you ever want to sponsor us, characters that are written into a scenario where they are, where there will be steps. Where, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and once again, I know we said F five guys, but five guys, if you ever want to sponsor us, we're here for that too. We will definitely. All right. Uh, <laughs> Those burgers, all right? <laughs> <laughs> for a uh, a $27 tab, I'll eat a cheeseburger. <laughs> this one is for Red Notice from Joe Fleischer. He says, nice podcast, brothers. And that, that's yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah, nice, short, sweet. Oh. I really and... hope Joe, Joe Fleischer is uh, a brother. <laughs> <laughs> nice podcast, brothers. Oh, he, okay. He's the one from another mother. But... <laughs> uh. <laughs> Uh, and then the last one we have for today is from Halloween Kills. <laughs> Go fig. Halloween um, is killing it. <laughs> I like the Officer Hawkins story, but they failed at execution. And that is what he has for us there. Oh. And that's from Irish Vader 2119. Jaren, which did you put I'm something say, on there? <laughs> it's hard for Jaren. Jaren's like, he's Irish, but he likes Star but Wars. Vader. What do I do? Yeah, but... What do I do? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jaren, um, <laughs> Could you please do an impression of an Irish Darth Vader, please? <laughs> well, I know this is on the spot for you. Yeah, no. Uh... <laughs> Mate, I'm not your father. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking Jesus. No. Yeah, well, that's going to be on the internet now. Thanks. <laughs> And you should not want it any other way, Jerry. You should not want it any it. other oh, yeah, way. Anything else. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, that is all I have for comments this week. Thanks, everybody, for commenting on the show. We loved it. We will always read and post your comments and respond to them. So if you like, again, the material, if you have comments, please put it in there. Or if you just want to say some wild stuff to get on the show, put it in the comment section. We will read it and it clap right back at you. Right? <laughs> Unless it's like, Please subscribe to my podcast because we won't read that. <laughs> I'll read it, but we'll be like, nah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we, we good. We got we got we got five guys money. We good. <laughs> uh, as always, thanks everybody for listening to the N-Word for Nerd Podcast. Again, you can find us on everything from Facebook, YouTube, all the podcast spaces, Anchor FM, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify. 
and especially on YouTube, if you want to hit the thumbs up for us, like, comment on there as well. Also, yeah. if you hit the bell to be notified, you'll be notified every time we deliver new content for you. Uh, Jaron, any closing words for everybody? Uh, yeah, seriously, on YouTube, if you like it, give us a thumbs up. And if you don't like it, fuck you, because they took away the thumbs down. <laughs> ah, fuck you. <yeah. laughs> <laughs> just like these nuts. <laughs> Look, no thumbs down. It just hurts our egos. Uh, Jason, any final words? <laughs> uh, the dogs will win a national championship. We're still in it just because we lost to Alabama. Yeah, yeah, I believe. I believe. <laughs> Also, be kind and consider to one there and tip your servers and bartenders at least 20%. Jerry needs the money. <laughs> Facts. Please. We all do. We all do. Come, come well, as always, through. guys, thank you all for listening to the N Word for Nerd podcast. We will see you all next week. Peace. Peace. You can fuck five guys unless you want to <laughs> <laughs>